Hey, Thrawn here. Hi, this is Ilkgraver. And we have Medieval Shop's Stone Spearhead. And this is a lithic spearhead. It's very well made. It's not too thin, so that means it would hold up well for actual use. It can be used as either a thrown spear or a actual uh, thrusting spear. Uh, this would be great. I mean, it's, it's great quality, but it'd be great if you're a uh, Native American reenactor or a Native American... Uh, uh, well, if you're any yeah. kind of a... Uh, 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 you know, if, old if you're, timer even. Well, I mean, you know, if you're a flint napper and you and you need a model to uh, model after, this is a good model for you. Also, if you're just a collector, this is a good collector piece. Most um, definitely. This Most is definitely. made out of chert. Uh, this uh, it's handcrafted. Uh, you can tell uh, if, if you have any background in anthropology or anything, you'll be able to tell this chert by the swirls that you'll see. If you're a uh, primitive hunter and want something like this, it's nice too to have. Yeah, I mean, you could... To you, have a spear, just to have a spear with you so you have one as well. Yeah, I mean, it's there's so many applications for it. Uh, just for, for any well kind made, of artistic... Very strong, and it's got a nice edge to it for uh, the type of material it's made out of. But what we're going to do today is we want to show you how to mount this on an actual shaft or haft. Uh, at least an easy, quick method of doing it. Uh, we've got some pitch, we've got sinew here, uh, I've got some modern tools to do it with. You might want to use actual uh, uh, period type tools to either lithic time period or whatever you're reenacting if you want to take your time and do it. But we're going to show you a quick way to put this on today. All right, sounds good to me. Let's let's get after it. See now, how since it does. I've already got this pretty much tapered, I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole here and try to line it up in the center the best I possibly can. So let's see what happens with this. Uh, best way to lay this on here before I work with it. I'm going to draw this straight through. switch over to an actual saw. Now what we've got here is I'm going to use a jigsaw straight up and down set. You could use a hacksaw. Uh, if you drill a hole the exact right size you want, you could risk using something to kind of chisel it. That would be up to you. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut right into it. So the part I uh, Like it's wide enough now. Let's try slipping this back in here. If we can get it all the way to the back without splitting it. And we pretty much done what we wanted. Uh, there we go. And like I said, you can look and see where it's going to fit the best and where it's going to line up the best for you. And that looks pretty nice. It really, really does. That is very nice. I, I can't wait to see the uh, the sinew and pitch on there. If you need to line it up better, that's going to be uh, up to uh, you and shaping and taking your time. Doing this relatively fast today. See if we can get it on here quick for you. 
So we're going to go ahead and add pitch. I just happen to have a container right here. Which I'll set something up here because it's quite messy. Trying to get this on you and be very careful. What we're going to do is go ahead and apply it. This will shim it up as well. This is going to have to dry though. What we're using is a, believe it or not, a uh, pitch like tar. If I'm mistaken, this one's actually that type of roofing material, but it should work fine. I mean, if you want to cook your own down from trees and resin and stuff, that's, that's fine as well. They also used these, these type of tars too back in the day. The tar fits in such a little period. It's one enough in there that it's going to actually see it. Now I've got to remember which way we had it. Push it down in. Line it up. And if we did more, we can add it. Put it in. Kind of use this since we're working with it to help hold the sinew in place as you're doing it. I'm going to bind this tightly too as well as you do this. Oh, bad sinew. I think I actually cut it on the spirit because it's real quite sharp. That's a sharp lithic if it's... Yes, it's cutting my sinew. So you might want to be careful with that. I didn't anticipate it to be so sharp on the edges where it sticks out. Now, as I'm trying to pull it in tight, I'm cutting it by accident. Right, you have those little barbs there sticking out. And, you know, this is, this is uh, similar to, like, the Clovis points that, that you'll see uh, in Native American archaeological finds. Um, and so it's going to have these little bars at the bottom end, and you're going to want to be real careful getting your sinew around that. The, these medieval doing shop overall. lithics are very, very sharp. Okay, we just wanted to do something that was actually more period for the uh, paleo time period. And honestly, I think we have it on there pretty good. I think so. I think and I just used the lithic to cut the sinew. But Man, if you look at this, this is mounted on here fairly well. Once that dries up, it's not coming off. Yeah, I would not recommend uh, playing with this until it's dry. or anything until it's dry. If you have any intentions of, I don't know, sticking it through water bottles or uh, or anything fun, oh, uh, if you want to put it on an atlatl and throw it or something, my suggestion is let this pitch dry. Um, you know. This is why we're not going to test it right away. Uh, maybe in the future we might come back and show you some stuff with it. But right, uh, it's on there very well. So oh yes, this once is that on there. dries, that's going to be on there for good. Man, I love how it feels on the end of this. You know, it's that's pretty. That's pretty nice. You know? That would definitely go through a mat. I think Hide if he's wearing hides. Uh, anything. That's I pretty. You would go through you know? an animal. You could impale a this. You would need a, a longer and heavier shaft, but you could, you know, uh, Native Americans about 16,000 years ago, 18,000 years ago, you know, this could have, you could have run a large animal up it. Oh, for I mean, sure. You know, they, a bear? Have a bear fall on it? When he comes well, they, they were even hunting mammoths uh, 16 or 18,000 years ago. Most so, definitely. you know, this, nice, is, yeah. this would be about the Clovis era. You know, it's, it's real nice. Very pretty. Thank you again, Medieval Shop. This is another fine piece. Uh, I'm just. I like it. I think it fits quite too. well, even on the shorter shaft, because a lot of people wouldn't have large. Spears. Oh no! Once you for get throwing, away from, it's, it's perfect for a job. Well, yeah, and you know what? You could even put this. You could. We could build us an atlatl and still, you know, 
chuck it out there with an atlow or a throwing cord or something mm -hmm. yeah yeah, yeah for sling sure it you know like i said even beyond the clovis era they were still um napping out spearheads like what's this. your opinion of the craftsmanship because i know you do napping i have to say that this is well crafted um, I, I think it's excellent i yeah i'd say that you know it, it's standard you know it's excellent but it's 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 pretty standard for most uh flint napping but I think what makes it unique and what and what Medieval Shop is getting here is that they're getting something that's not the, that fake stone that you'll find at like your local rock shop. It's quite sharp. Uh, I shouldn't say fake stone, but they're using real flint. This is real chert. And and so it's gonna have that quartz inside of it. Uh, it's gonna make it real sharp like glass. Very strong. Very strong, yes. Well, I, now you gotta be careful with that word because flint napping oh, relies yes. on the fact that it's kind of weak enough that you can, you right, can right. through it percussion, could, it you could can break it. It could always break depending if it hits just right. Well, that's uh, why you can nap. flesh it. like an animal, it, well, it's gonna go in. It's most Precisely. Like if you hit a bone the wrong way, this we know. And this, and you know, uh, Comanches, Apaches. A bone could uh, be the bane of this. Um, you know, uh, Apaches, Comanches, uh, uh, Navajo. Everybody still, all the way up till, you know, we had cavalry riding west. They were still using these. They were still to take using these, down. and they were and hunt buffalo. That's right. They still Most work. Definitely. And you know, I'm, I'm sure there's not a lot of spear hunters out there today, but I could see it being used as a war lance or just riding mm -hmm. by and throwing this yeah, into a buffalo. It, as I'm you telling were. you, it several work. of these, and he would go down. I guess it will you. work. I'm telling you, as a flint napper, I would love won. to own. As a flint napper, I mean, I'd, I'd like to buy some of these, and you can find these on Medieval Shop's website. Um, and we still have the free trade agreement with uh, Australia, so anything you order, there's not gonna be any holdups. Even though this is considered kind of a weapon, right? Uh, they're not gonna they're not gonna X-ray it. They're not gonna look at it. They're not gonna not slow it down. Yeah, they're gonna send it straight lithic, through you. Arrowhead. Uh, well, lithic, uh, for anything you yeah. order from Medieval Shop Australia, I think it's, it's gonna come quality. straight through. I'm really proud to have it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I would be very proud of that. I mean, you wouldn't find anything better short of going out to an archaeological site and, and stealing it. Finding one intact, and then to find one intact is very hard to do as well. That's very you difficult to do. You find bits and pieces mm -hmm. of them and know what they were, but they're cracked and broken. And this oh, is yeah, at, and and as old as one of these would be, you'd have to dig so deep in the dirt or get lucky enough that the rain would have washed it out. You know, uh, I, I'd have to say that this is... Yet another awesome. Once that dries in good. It's not going anywhere. You this see. is another awesome item. It's already item. in here well, but I know oh, once that seated. dries, it's never coming out. Yeah, maybe one of these days we'll come out and, and toss it at something. For sure, kind of fun. Most definitely, I would love to. Well, again, Medieval Shop, thank you so much. This is this is fantastic. I, I would take this out to to any uh, archaeologist here in Texas, and they'd love it. Farewell. Farewell.